Hey. 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 How, How are you doing? Look at both of us. All right. We're all wrapped up tonight. <laughs> yes, we're in the spirit. How are you? That's what it is. I'm great. How are you? I'm 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 making it. I'm doing pretty good. Good, good. I, I know it's been a day, but thank you so much for for joining us and thank and you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Yay. So we're, we're going to let people come into the room, give them maybe one more minute, if that's okay. Okay. Yes. Hey, everybody. I see folks coming in. I know. Hey, y'all. Uh -oh. Someone said great smiles. That's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> that's so nice. That's so nice. Oh man. Um, awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, it's gonna be a good time. Good energy. How you been though? I know it's, it's been forever since I've actually I seen know. you in person. Yes, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So much has happened. And right. I, I had no idea you were working with my yay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Of, of all people, it's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> you know we go way back. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. He's he's got stories for days, especially oh, about the rest of the world, man. Yeah. Did he ever tell you about how his dad makes had made the the best Kool Aid ever in the world? No, no, no. Okay. His dad. Oh my God. His Kool Aid was everything. We would go to his dad's house just for his Kool Aid. <laughs> What, was it red Kool-Aid? <laughs> it was red, and he and his dad, I think, was legally blind. So it was just, it was so funny. Oh, wow. dad, it's just a funny cat. So I see where my dad gets it from. <laughs> gotcha. That's exactly where he gets it from. Crazy. Yeah. Yes. Well, let's let's talk about you, Mo okay. Mosho Ishi. Let's talk about you. Yes. So you are one of the original members of Arrested Development, the yes. great pop collective Thank that you. we're all so familiar with. You are also a recording artist in your own right. You've yeah. got solo music that's out, and we'll get to some of that in a little bit. You are a dancer. You are a songwriter. You are an artist development coach. You yeah. are a mom. <laughs> oh yeah. My gosh, how do you do it all? Oh my God, it's it's a lot. Sometimes, honestly, it gets overwhelming, and so I'm just working on right now learning how to balance everything so I don't get overwhelmed. But got I. It. All of it. I love artist development. I truly love that. I manage my daughter. And of course, my greatest job is being a mom. And just, I, it's awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I love what I do. I'm passionate about the arts and music and dance and artist development and singing and writing. So, I, I just, I love it all. I'm just trying to learn how to really balance it. <laughs> so right, right, right. Because it's, it's a lot. I, I was on your website, which is beautifully laid out, by the way. Thank you so Not much. Shout out to Cassandra. Hey, shout out Cassandra. So I'm just scrolling through and I'm like, wow, she she just does everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like I've I've always kind of I loved uh, do doing styling. I can do makeup. I just love a lot of different things. And so when I work with artists, I either mm -hmm. bring people in or create a team for them or I do it for them. So, you know, I just, I love all that. So on, on my site, I try to let everybody know all the different things I do so that if they want a specific service for me, then they can get it. So, gotcha. so you were just an all around creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's funny this, during this quarantine, I've, I uh, discovered some new things about myself, and I just kind of, uh, I got a lot of new things I want to do, so, you know. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so even more is coming on the resume. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny. Hey, James. It's so funny how, you know, um, when your back is up against the wall, so to speak, or you have to sit down and do that kind of stuff, you discover a lot of things about, more things about yourself, you know what I mean? Oh. And I truly, I truly believe that my best days are in front of me and not behind me. Yes, I've done some great things, and I'm super grateful, but I believe that my best days are in front of me. I truly I love it. It. I love <laughs> it. Absolutely, absolutely. So yes. let's jump into this song list, and we're going to relive some okay. days past and talk okay. about the days ahead, okay? Okay. So the first song on your list is Pleasure Principle. Yes. I'm not supposed to sing it, but we'll let Janet sing it a little bit, yes. and then we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, okay cool beans. Y'all know that one. It's a classic by Janet Jackson. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. When that record came out, I was like, I want to be Janet. <laughs> and I was <laughs> running the dance and the chair routine because I've always danced my, you know, since I was two years old. So I was mm -hmm. fascinated just by just her um level of excellence and how she executed that choreography. And um Miss Paula Abdul did that. She did yes. that. Awesome. Yes. 
it, that whole thing, I liked the way she looked. I liked her outfit. I liked her hair. I mean, she was killing it. I mean, that's still one of my favorite Janet songs. I mean, yeah. Oh, I, I oh, got yeah. a weave in my hair so I could look like Janet. <laughs> And it's so that's funny because you are known for your your shorter cuts. Yes, actually, yeah, I used to have really long hair when I was young, but I just started cutting it. You know, I just you know, I, I did it primarily to fit with you know Arrested Development, especially you know the group's earthy energy and stuff. So I was like, you know what, I can't do the term. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. cut it off. But yeah, I used to have really long hair. Yeah. Nice, nice. So so tell us a little bit more about your background with dance. Well, you said you've been since you were two. Since I was two years old, so I'm trained in ballet and jazz and tap and uh, hip hop, African Martin, all that kind of stuff, baton twirling, uh, uh, acrobatics. My mother was one of the first on black dance schools here in Atlanta, and it was called the Gaither School of Dance. So, oh, wow. yeah, sixty. So she taught CeeLo Green, um, Soul Messiah worked there, and also danced um, at my mom's school. He works with Sarah. Uh, he's oh. really, really and uh, we're like family. I mean, a lot of people, she had athletes to come through. My mom was amazing. And uh, she she just was just an amazing woman. And I used to love watching her teach dance and the choreography mm -hmm. and like her. So that's, I kind of, you know, continue to carry the torch as far as the dance, dancing and teaching because that's what my mother did. So yeah, I've been dancing, oh my gosh, as long as I can remember. And it's funny, people went to, that has, you know, went to school with me to see me out, uh -huh. girl, you still dancing? I was like, yeah, but I always dance. I mean, you would find me in talent shows, you know, challenging somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I love to dance. dancing, crying. <laughs> sure. A jelly bean skating rink, oh, MG. That's what that's what I did back in the day. <laughs> uh -oh. So you are still an amazing dancer. In fact, one of your videos just got highlighted by a very famous special person. Tell tell us about that. Oh. So um, one of my mentees, actually, and my friend JJ, uh, he's, you know, they were like, you should do the cool off challenge. And I was like, okay. And I literally was just doing it for fun. And then, um, yeah, Missy, it, it, I guess, I think the challenge just went on for like so long. And mm -hmm. then, it got, you know, a lot of attention. And she decided to pick winners. And so she, she did. I was a winner. And also, um, another video I did, he ended up on Usher's page and Jermaine's page. Uh, so I, it was just, you know, the sauce. I did the sauce dance. Okay. And ended up on, you know, Jermaine's page and Usher's page. And I was like, this is crazy. So, you know, it's just, it's just cool that people, you know, still see, you know, my talent as a dancer. Let me say that. <laughs> but, you know, I don't like, like uh, I'm not trying to dance <laughs> like behind anybody or nothing like that. But... <laughs> I just do it for fun. It's such an outlet for me. It's it's a it's a place of freedom for me. Actually, dancing. I love oh yeah, it. I can tell that. Seeing yeah. you dance, there is definitely a freedom and an energy that just feels it feels very real and, and ancestral, Thank for lack you. of a better word. Oh my gosh, yes. Hey, Avery. <laughs> it's, I mean, you know, for me, it's like when I really truly need a release, I dance. I just mm -hmm. dance. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're going to jump to the next song on your list that is actually part of your career as an artist. It is People Every Day by Arrested Development. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to Speech and all the yes, other yes. members of Arrested Development. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Okay. So that's one of my favorite songs um, by Arrested Development. Uh, I remember, you know, doing the video, uh, recording the song, and I just, I love it. I mean, it's it's one of those records, like, it just feels good when mm -hmm. it comes on. So you just, you have to dance. You have to get up. And I, the day we shot that video, blazing hot, and we were in a stinky horn, <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by manure. <laughs> right, right, right. It was cool. We had a great time. We had a great, great, great time. So yeah, when I when I hear that record, I get real excited. Yeah, it's nice. hard. <laughs> great, nice. So, yeah. so what's your biggest takeaway from your time with the rest of development? Uh, I learned so much. You know, I was so young. When I joined the group, I was 13 years old. Wow. They were in college. He the headliner, the founder of Arrested Development. Uh, they were in college at the Arts Institute of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. and I was in the eighth grade. <laughs> so um, I learned so much, like, 
just this is a real business and you got to quit. Don't go in it blind or, you know, not knowing that it is a business because you will get got. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just have to, you know, it's about connections. It's about relationships. Um, and, and I don't believe in doing anything unless you are like really into it. If you, if I'm, I was very passionate about performing. And so mm-hmm. that's what, you know, got me the opportunity to be in the group. You know what I mean? Because of my passion. And I think that you have to continue to have passion if you want to be it, involved in anything that you do in life. I don't care if it's being a doctor, lawyer, whatever. You got to have passion. You know what yeah. I mean? And so yeah. I'm passionate about. So for me, um, I think being in the group taught me just to be just completely like, you know, super uber passionate and a level of excellence. And also, I just want to be true to myself. So I took took that away. Like, you know, because in this business, there's so many different, I, I always say it's a bunch of smoke and mirrors. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I just, I just being authentic, truly being who you are. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Because yeah. you can only hold up the smoke and mirrors for so oh. long, right? Yeah. <laughs> that smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 So if you can't tell by her, her Instagram handle, Ishii, two times Grammy. Uh, this woman has two Grammys. Uh, uh, that's four, but there we go, two Grammys. <laughs> so, so what was that experience like, winning Grammys with the rest of development? It was crazy. Um, I remember, I think we were in a category with Criss Cross, uh, Ray Cyrus, and I can't remember the other person who was in the category. I, it was crazy, and they called our name, and I was like, what? You know, <laughs> because... <laughs> that really Ray Cyrus is going to win the Achy Break Your Heart because that song was huge that year. And then we, yeah. it was, it was, I like I like the Achy Break Your Heart. So <laughs> <laughs> he was actually super cool too, you know. So we were, oh. in, we were in the category with some really, really great people, you know what I mean? And of course, Criss Cross, we had management, um, ERI, uh, Jermaine's dad, Michael Malden managed us and Criss Cross. So we were like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so so JD had something to do with you getting into the rest of development, right? No, Ian Burke actually. Ian Burke Ian Burke, Burke. got it. Okay. Got you, got you. Yeah. Shout out to Ian Burke. Yeah, he was he was actually managing my sister. Um well, he was working with my sister, but he was managing the rest of development at the time. So he asked my sister, did she want to do the audition? And she was like, No, my little sister was probably like that because I did African dance, she didn't do it. And at oh. the time and pebbles and all these other people so yeah so then i got the opportunity she her and ian took me to the to the audition <laughs> oh that's so cool and the rest is history yes i remember what i had on and everything what did you have on <laughs> black hammer pants i had on a yellow and white polka dot turtleneck i had on pad leather shoes with the big bows and my hair was like in a short like cut shaved in the back because during that time that's when Kwame was real big and I used to okay. love it. so <laughs> nice what, what what season was this Ishi with the boots and the <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in there the okay. <laughs> that, that is so awesome yeah. so, so we're going to jump to the next song on your list yes. it is Holy Ghost by Kim Burrell Ooh, we're going to feel a little spirit y'all Yes, hey. <laughs> Let's listen to a little bit, then we'll talk about it. Yes. yes. When I tell you that voice, my her, God. Her voice is bananas. Yeah. Was, her, you know, the person who introduced me to Kim Burrell was Jazzy Faye. Really? Jazzy Faye, yep. It was, uh, I, I was, uh, it was Tracy Hale. Uh-huh. Jazzy Faye and myself, and we were in his Range Rover. This was years ago, that first album. And, um, he played her, and I was like, oh, my God, who is that? And I said, oh, my God, I got a bar that city. He said, oh, no, no, Kim stays in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to take Kim. Yeah, you're not going to take Kim. So I, I I got a VHS of Kim Burrell, all kinds of stuff. But her vocals were crazy, and I, I just truly became, um, you know, just a fan of her music. And then also, too, just her just her ability. Oh, my God, it's just crazy. And I saw her live. Oh, she performed at the church here in Atlanta and she mm-hmm. was 
and yeah it was yeah that and that album just really touched my heart in so many ways it just got me through some tough times you know what i mean so nice. Yeah. Nice. and it's crazy when you said five songs it was hard to do five because it's so many songs but i was like let me just pick these <laughs> you know I, I keep hearing that but I, i'll say five because if you pick five they really matter yeah yeah, yeah. they really matter to you definitely definitely so that, that is beautiful yeah so we're gonna move to our next song which is actually one of yours yes it's called king yes, it is called king it is the remix yes we're gonna listen to a little bit then tell us why this song is so special to you okay you know, shout out to Hot Hitters for doing the remix. <laughs> hey, shout out Hot Hitters. Hey, family. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, I see it's comments saying it's jamming. It feels I, good. It sure does. I see. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's um, I think the song is. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> uh, I think it's the song is so important, especially now because I feel like a lot of black men we're, you know, often. <laughs> By in the media, and that's why I what inspired me. This song, this you know, and, and all my co shout out to them, my family, um, and um, yeah, it's just the, the the record means so much, especially like this lift you, you beautiful, incredibly strong, intelligent, and you know you're king, and we are queens, so you have to act accordingly. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Adjust your crown, right? Crown. So yeah, I just, I just, I, I want to do that, you know. So I, and I, every time I, I um, hear that song, it just gives me a special vibe, you know what I mean? And especially because we have been single for many, many years, and I'm <laughs> my king. So it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He's on his way. You, you have called him to you with that song. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to Tyrone and Leaf. You, do you know Leaf? She she was a girl on this. Absolutely. The David. Um, I mean, it was just a, a Rob. It was just a whole crew. Just my my people. Those that was my people. So. <laughs> oh, shout out to all those people. Leaf, where are you, Leaf? Hey, Leaf. Yeah, you so much love. Leaf. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to jump to the last song of this, which I had not heard before, but it is gorgeous. Okay. Okay. is one of my favorite he is actually probably honestly one of my top male vocalists I, a vocalist period not male or female i just love his he's, <laughs> he's incredible incredible so we're going to listen to a bit of cathedral and then yep. we're going to talk about it okay <laughs> we can just linger in that one right it's so good oh my god what can i say about it i, I just think the i love uh, Jonathan makes Reynolds' approach to music and his, his surrender to music, to to the spirit when he's creating. Um, I love his. He's such a well-rounded musician and artist and singer, vocalist, arranger, writer, um, and I love his voice. It has such a sweet. It's almost like a a, a sweet tone. It's just the, <clears throat> this everything so and that song you know make a cathedral out of me it's like you know he, you could tell that he's true, he just wants to do what god wants him to do you know mm -hmm. i've met him hopefully one day i will because i love yes. him. oh my god <laughs> but, collaboration, uh, collaboration. I, I would love to just sit in his presence and just watch him create like mm. <laughs> <laughs> he's so dope to me but oh, yeah. Uh, yeah just that his i don't know if you've seen it he visual album out right now of all his songs. I have it. No, I have to check that out. It's on YouTube, so go check it out. And um yeah, from top to bottom, it's just good music, good vibes and it's telling the story. You know what I mean? And I love mm -hmm. that. I love Jonathan McReynolds and I hope I think he's gonna be around a long time because he's he's just a real solid artist. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Love, 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 love him. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, he's definitely very well rounded. I, I hope that his career is is as long as yours has oh, been and will continue to be. Thank you so much. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. So that was your five songs. This I, I hope that that was pretty painless and, and oh, a great experience. 
I appreciate you and thank you so much. You know, uh, this was this was a joy. I had an interesting day. So <laughs> all right. Uh, to be here with you and thank you so much Jason and many blessings on everything that you're doing as well. Thank you. I really appreciate that point. So so before we go, tell people where they can find you. Our website is pinned at the bottom, y'all. Where yes. they can find you and what you got coming up next. Yes, yeah, so you can ishiafosoul dot com or you know, I'm on all social media. You can go on my website and uh find out where I am. Uh you know, and right now I'm just transitioning into some different things. So you'll just be on the lookout. Uh some TV stuff and more music and dancing and more uh, artist development. Got a lot of great artists I'm working with right now. So so yeah. And then my daughter with her modeling, uh, she keeps me busy. So yeah. Yes, I've seen her picture. She is fire. She she's Thank killing you. it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Thank shout out to your artists that you're developing. Give them a quick shout out before yes. you go. I'm I'm working with a few people. Um, I work with Miss Tasha Lorray when she. Yes. Hey Tasha. Yes, uh, Brooke. Um, I work with Bobby. That's my artist. Her name is Bobby. She's amazing. Uh, yes. By the name of Faith. Uh, a young a man by the name of Nalaj. Yeah, and Danielle. So just the list keeps going. Yes. <laughs> I tell y'all, look forward to seeing what you all have to put out in the universe as well. Thank you. Well, so should, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You too. You too. Thank you so much. Absolutely, y'all. This has been Five Songs with Ishii. Y'all have a great night, okay? Good love. All right, bye. Bye.